Oh, okay. is it the light? Do you want me to find my light? I took a Barbizon <laughs> class. I, I can do that. I thought that's my light. <laughs> what do you mean to do, buddy? Don't don't go and come in my frame. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Welcome to It's a Hawaii Thing. I'm Lanai, and that's Brooke Lee. Yep. Please don't get us confused. Ever. we got a great show for you today. Um, this guy has been, you know, I went to go look up his IMDb. Why? There's too many things that. Yeah, you know, I, mean, I, I mean, you saved the words the and list, people go, oh. The list goes on and on. We couldn't even have, we didn't print enough paper because it was like <laughs> destroying the forest. But I'll just mention a couple. He's been on uh, This Is Us. Uh, in 2018, probably one of the uh, most recent. Uh, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Voodoo Doll. Uh, the Man with the Iron Fist 2. Uh. Uh, Jackpot, Zero Tolerance. Gentle, 22 Jump Street. Um, Games of Assassins, Once Upon a Time in Vietnam. He was just awarded the uh, Vietnamese Golden Lotus Award, which is like the highest accol accolade you can get uh, for Best Actor in a Motion Picture. The legend is... Alive, ladies and gentlemen, it's <laughs> Dustin Gwen. How are you, brother? Aloha, good morning. Nice I've to see never you. heard of any of these movies or shows. <laughs> never well, heard of them. But Lanai they, has that talent. So <laughs> Lanai, they're not even streaming. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to see you. <laughs> good morning. You you yeah, do not yeah. age. You do not age. How old are you now? Don't ask people oh. that. Because oh. it'll look, make him look even better. He's um. what are you? Eighteen. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mentally. Eight, eight, Eighteen times five. Mentally, yes, <laughs> yes. What you been um, up to? Uh, well, um, <laughs> good question. Uh, <laughs> you know, kind of getting through it like everybody else is during yeah. this uh, uh, last interesting couple of years uh, that we, we were dealing with. But um, I, I, I've been—I actually been in South Africa doing uh, this show called Warrior. South on, Africa on, on HBO, and. Uh, it's a pretty decent show. Yeah. If, if, you, if you like action, I think you'll you like yeah. it. South Africa. Yeah, Cape what Town. Cape yeah, Town. I heard it's a nice place, though. Amazing place. I want to go. It's on my bucket list. Amazingly. Yeah. Do yourself a favor. I mean, when I got there, I knew nothing about it, and I was like, oh, my God, this is like, you know, heaven. And why South Africa? What's the setting for the show? The setting for the show is uh, during the 1800s when the, the Chinese first settled in, in San Francisco, and uh, all the... You know, uh, amazingly, really reflects what's going on right now. All the sort of racism, right. anti-Asian thing, and of course the internal struggle uh, of the Chinese immigrants and the different factors to um, monopolize on the heroin business and the local politics in San uh -huh. Francisco at the time. Again, you know, and, and working up towards the Exclusion Act, where mm. they were trying to kick all the Chinese, you know, send them back home to China. Uh huh. So it's a, it's a drama with, uh, with 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 martial arts action, some sex in there somewhere, <laughs> and some it's sex. in South Africa because yeah, it's probably yeah. cheaper than it would be to shoot it in San Francisco. But it didn't play the what you're shooting didn't take place originally in in it took place in San Francisco. Everybody. Yeah, well, basically it's in South Africa because they have a wonderful uh, in Cape Town. They have a wonderful world class studio there, ah. that, and we basically built. Chinatown. 1800 uh, Chinatown, San Francisco. There. Nice. I didn't know that. You know what's so cool? China People don't realize that the, all the people in San Francisco that are, came from China came via Hawaii on the plantation. So if you Google uh, the first Chinatown, they'll say San Francisco, which was 19, late. Uh, no, it was 1884. But our Chinatown was built in 1880. And via the sugar cane, they all came to Hawaii and then moved to San Francisco. Um. Mm. So a lot of the, you know, original Chinese in, in San Francisco were from Hawaii. Well, because mm. they had to come from China and stop yeah. somewhere and then not get scurvy and then get back yeah. on a boat and then go to San yeah, Francisco. Yeah, so, so you go by uh, like Vallejo, there's CNH Sugar, Cal it stands for California and Hawaii. Mm. The Chinese, that's where they went to go work and the Filipinos too. Right. To mm. go cut asparagus or whatever. But interesting <laughs> how all this thing is coming full circle, isn't it? Yeah, you know, the, the like when we started, uh, we we about to start season three, but, you know, when we were doing the show, mm -hmm. nobody m meant for it to be sort of like a, a social platform about anti-Asian and, and anti asian We actually did an episode towards the end of season two that is straight out of what we were seeing on TV a few months really? ago. Weird. With riots. Right. And, you know, again, you know. Jumps. Anti-Asian. And, I mean, all this, it's crazy. It's just... Yeah. Um, but but it's a terrific show. Yeah, it's a terrific show. I can't wait to see it. I didn't know. you're on what season now? Well, we we the uh, two seasons on HBO Max. Uh -huh. uh, uh, we're about to start uh, season three. Yeah. Good congratulations. Yeah, and you. are you you're living in Vietnam or are you living there now? 
Uh, this is I, this. I, buckle up. This is a story. I, well, I, I, <laughs> well, I, I live everywhere. You know, I was I've been living full time in Vietnam for the last ten years, and once you know, once a year I go visit my mom, uh-huh. who still lives in in Los Angeles or in Orange County, and I, and so last February I took my kids and my wife and went to see her, and then and the whole thing just yeah. kind of blew up, and Vietnam closed its border, and so I kind of been stranded in. Uh, you know, in California, and uh-huh. uh, and now we decided, okay, we're going to relocate back to the U.S. Yeah, uh, back to the U.S. Interesting. Well, we got to take a quick break. Um, but you have so so many things to talk about. Thanks for joining us today. How much did you ha- do we have to pay for this interview? Oh, I'll take it out of your tab. <laughs> Putting it on his yeah, tab, yeah. White. Putting it on the tab. Dustin Gwen is hanging out with us. Say, don't forget to leave us a comment when you can, and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's a Hawaii thing. Bringing you what matters. Viewers can receive the Star Advertiser digital full access subscription for just $9.95 per month. Go to StarAdvertiser.com and click on subscribe. Use the code A-H-I-THING. Shamanad University is preparing Hawaii's leaders for tomorrow, today. Earn a private education with a public service mission right here at home. Get started at Shamanad.edu. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Dustin, Gwen, hanging out with us. And uh, we we're talking about you kind of living in Vietnam, but you've been traveling all over the world. So right now, you're sh- when do you start shooting in uh, South Africa? Uh, we're going to start like next spring sometimes. Yeah, okay. yeah. We, you know, we, we sort of, uh, the writers are trying to get all the scripts scripts together and uh, and the cast and everyone's just clearing their schedule. Yeah. What know. character are you playing? I play uh, a very nasty dude named Zing, Z-I-N-G. Oh. And uh, essentially there are two tongs, right? Two, two tongs. And then there's a third tong that's sort of like uh, is my, my tong. And, um, and they're like descendants of, of the Mongols. Okay. So they're known for it. The other two tongs are very civilized, very business. Right. And then my tong is sort of known for their... Um, you know, savagery and nice. uh, and viciousness. But I I play the leader of it, and and I'm my character sort of like the troublemaker that that stir up a lot of issues with um with the other two tongs. Essentially, I'm trying to also trying to take over the opium business. But I'm j- I'm just uh you know a very nasty, unlikable guy on it. I don't know how that came yeah. about. That is against typecasting right there. And that's why it's actually f- a lot of fun to do. Yeah. Because I, yeah, yeah. I, I don't get cast in those kind of roles a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Do you have to go on auditions anymore? You don't have to go on auditions, oh. do you? No, everybody auditions, except for Tom Cruise. <laughs> and Amy um, Hill. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and, um, and Ron, you want? No, you know, <laughs> Warrior. <laughs> yeah. No, it's true. Yeah. No, Warrior, I was very fortunate. Um, uh, Justin Lin, who's the the uh, one of the creator of the show, what? and and Jonathan Choper. Oh, okay. Uh, Justin called me in in Vietnam and told me about the show, and um, he's sort of been a big supporter with with me directing uh, my films in Vietnam and all that. But the short of it, he he called me and he and he said we would like you know for you to come on the show if you feel inclined to do so, and he told me you know. We're getting sidetracked, but it has to be said that this show, Bruce Lee wrote the treatment, an eight-page treatment really? for this show 40 years ago. Wow. Well, not 40, because isn't he been gone longer than that? Yeah, so, but well. It surfaced. It's around oh, there. I got, it, I, got it, I got it, I got it. And Warner Brothers at the time said, we cannot have an Asian lead on a network show, TV show. Oh. So he was very heartbroken. And, and so it, anyway, fast forward through the years, Shannon uh, Lee, who right. is the, who's yeah. his, the daughter. his daughter and yeah. who's handling the estate, uh, has uh, a lot of these documents. So so Justin and his, um, uh, Daniel Woodrow, who was the development of, uh, of his company, have you know heard about this sort of like urban legend about right, these the eight script. pages. And so they essentially met with Shannon and yes, you know, she show, and I actually saw these pages, you know. It's an outline, the character's name and all That's of this. That's awesome. And Justin, uh, you know, went about trying to get this thing made and finally they found a wonderful showrunner, uh, Jonathan Chopra, who did this fantastic show called Banshee for Cinemax and uh-huh. and the rest as they say is history you know they put the show together and Bruce so Lee's like my hero he's my of course, he's right? yeah. you know so 
when I heard that, I'm like, I'm sold. You don't have, yeah, to, I don't yeah. have to read the script. And and so they they asked me to come on, and uh, and and he said also, you know, we would love for you to direct, you know, some of the episodes. Oh wow. And, so it was, it was congratulations sweet, that's you know? a great story sweet, you, know, you know i was just watching something like a couple of weeks ago how uh hollywood didn't like uh bruce lee as a uh, stuntman because he did all back in those days right you didn't have a lot of stuntmen i guess hmm. or he was like telling the stuntmen what to do hmm. <laughs> so they didn't like him as a i guess on set they really yeah well you, you know you know out. these stories uh, jealousy uh, well, it, you know, uh, none of us were there. Right. Right? right. But I can tell you, if that's the setting, um, there are a lot of stuntmen in Hollywood, but especially back then, but they're stuntmen. They're not martial arts stuntmen. That's what we were talking ah. about. Yeah. So, that's where was and I, I've been there. You know, all yeah. due respect to stun, all my, my friends are great yeah. stuntmen. And, and they will tell you, you know, there are stuntmen who specialize in stunts, jumping out of buildings and yes. cars. But martial art fights is a very specific thing, and so when you're trying to stage a fight, yeah. a martial art fight, and the stuntman, of course, you know, that's not that thing. Right. And so somebody like a Bruce Lee would be like, dude, you know, you, you can't yes. do that. You can't do that, yeah. that doesn't make sense. So, and of him being, you know, very uh, confident yes. and very perhaps assertive, it might be misconstrued as arrogance right. and, and, and whatever. So, you know, these things can get kind of, Twist it yes, up, as and, time goes on, the and story next changes. thing, yeah, next yeah. thing you know, what Bruce Lee is is you know is arrogant, yeah. he's cocky, yeah. right? He hates American stuntmen. Yeah. No, he doesn't. Why would he hate American? And that that was exactly the conversation. But you know, you can you can exactly what you say. He is a martial artist. We'll talk more about this. Don't go anywhere. It's a Hawaii thing. This show is brought to you by Atlas Construction, Hawaii's number one builder for nine years in a row. Call them at eight zero eight nine five one nine five zero zero for the quality and service you deserve today. HEC Medical Clinic, Dr. Aries Oda, Hawaii's number one laser weight loss center for weight loss, reverse diabetes, and heart disease. Call today for your limited time special, only $37. Lose one to two inches instantly. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing, talking story with uh, Dustin Gwen. Uh, so many things going on with you. There. I can't wait. It's a, what's the name of the show on HBO again? The show is called Warrior, oh, right. and so it's on sure HBO it Max. Please check it out. I guarantee you money back guarantee how do you guys know each other <laughs> that's a long story we've been friends for a long time we all met through chris lee this is the okay. hub again that's everybody true. everybody that, that yes. comes in here met the, through the chris beach lee. Is, yeah, it's we need a, to get chris a, lee on the show one day it's it's mm -hmm. a deep bench yeah. with chris lee yeah so i met him and ron and yeah when Jason you came when you came to and, la yeah yeah everybody amy yeah. alec mappa all of them all in the same like crew. at a house party lots of house parties actually yeah. he was the hub he yeah, literally yeah. was the Waikiki of the Hollywood Hills. Who did you look up to besides Bruce Lee as far as martial arts, acting, you know, when you were growing up? Well, as far as martial arts and acting, I, I well, martial arts, Bruce Lee. Acting-wise, uh, it's Mr. Al Pacino. I really? I remember. Now, I have to say, I, I never set out to be an actor. However... I remember watching Dog Day Afternoon, uh -huh. uh, in my opinion, one of the most amazing performances. And I remember one of the scenes he did, and I think I, I was thinking to myself, God, you know, I love to be able to make people feel what Mr. Pacino is making me feel right now, watching him perform. And and that was that was um, a big inspiration for me. And then when when I finally became an actor. Um, he's, have all, he's has always been, you know, there are many, many amazing uh, actors, of course, um, but he's always been sort of the benchmark. He for touched me. that nerve for you to get yeah, going. Yeah, huh? yeah. Have you met yeah. him? No, 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 that's my bucket Let's list. Let's set this up. Yeah. To call Chris I mean, Lee. he worked with Johnny Depp. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, come on. Like, yeah, and then Johnny Depp worked with Al Pacino. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, it's You're five degree. degrees of separation yeah. of yeah. Kevin Bacon at yeah. some point. So, 21 Jump Street. Uh, wait, wait, before I get to that, did you do Magnum P.I.? My the very one? my very first OG, paying, OG. My very first Magnum. paying gig ever, the one that got me into Screen Actors Guild, was uh -huh. it was a not only Magnum P.I. at its height, the original, but the two hour special, right? Damn. I mean, oh, they don't, part, they don't they do part that one anymore. and two. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember at the end of the season, they'd always do a part one yeah, and two. Yeah, yeah. You did part one and two. I did part one and two, and, and I was like the lead guest star in it, right? Uh huh. This was not, this was post Jump Street? No, this is no, pre No, no, this is my very first oh, gig. Oh, wow. Ever. This is like in the 80s. Wow. They taft hardly me. That's how Damn. I got in the guild. Right in the 80s, right? 
1984. I remember it was, it was around Christmas, two weeks before Christmas of 1984, my first time ever in Hawaii. Had no idea what, what I was doing. I was in fear every day, seriously, that they were going to figure out, like, I, I don't know how to act. You know? And, uh, and, and Mr. Selleck and the cast and the producers and everybody have set standards for me in terms of how amazing people they are and the tone of the set and how generous they are I mean to this day I, I, I you know you always remember your first yeah. and hopefully your first is a good experience but in this case it's a, it's a tremendous um, memory in my heart see well, he's oh. bonded to Hawaii that way no I, I, I did because I know? remember uh, reading it somewhere and because uh, 87 is when I first met Tom Sides when I graduated mm. and I met him for the first time on Fort Street Mall Wow. They were shooting something, and he actually talked to me. Right. And then uh, I always wanted to get on the show. And then I saw that you were were on it. <laughs> Let me tell you, it, what you just said, you know, if I may share this story, I remember sitting, you know, and when you're a guest star, frankly, the, the, the series regular don't have to really talk to you. Talk to you. <laughs> you know, it's nice if they say hi. And that's fine, because, you know, that'll, that'll work. But I remember one day we're sitting, we're shooting outside, and uh, and uh, and Tom was here, and some other cast members, and and we, he was talking, you know, just regular. And, and and of course, you know, this is at the height of his career, yeah. and there were just hundreds of people across the street. Hey, Tom, Tom, Tom! He gets, he, excuse me, he gets up, he walks all the way across the street, he signed autographs, he took some pictures. That's awesome. He said, "I have to go back to work." Thank you. He walks all the way back. I mean, this is what. To me, how you behave. Yeah, that's you know? you know. I was with The Rock one time in L.A. and he did that, and they kept calling him back, and he said, "I'm not done yet." And he would talk to everybody who, because he goes, "All these people drove hours to come see right. me. I gotta at least tell them hi." Um, but Tom was here for a long time. Yeah, Tom Selleck. I yeah. mean, people mm -hmm. loved him. Local here. people loved Local him. Local people yeah. loved him. Yeah, he here. fit right in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we gotta take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. Hanging out with Dustin Gwen. It's Hawaii thing. I almost forgot the name of the show. Did you? For all your money needs, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union is here for you. Visit HiFiCU.com. Welcome back to Hawaii. It's a Hawaii Thing. Hanging out with Dustin Gwen, talking about uh, Magnum PI. Your, that was in 1984-85. That was your first paid gig? Paying gig. Uh, I was in heaven here. And I remember walking down, up and down, you know, this, this, I was staying at the Colony Surf at the time. Dang. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, you got to remember, you know, I went from like, you know, the typical actor in a, in a little like hole in the wall apartment with three other guys sleeping on top of you. <laughs> to this, you know, suite in the Colony Serve, man. It was just like heaven, you know. It was you, a brand new hotel that you time. You pinch yourself. Clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. think it exists anymore. Yeah. So you didn't do anything in Hawaii? You, I mean, we have so many shows that come through here. You haven't done anything? I, they never cast me. You know, I think around 2003 or four or something like that, I did. Uh, I finally came back for a, uh, a movie of the week, TV movie of the week. And since then, um, I've never worked here again. But, but you're here now. Because for Justin here, yeah. Lin does Magnum PI now, doesn't he? Or am I making that up? I don't know. Am well, I getting it, my it, Asians it's, mixed it's, up? Yeah, Probably. no, no. He, it's not really, I mean, it's, it's his TV, you know, production deal. Right. But he's not really hands on with it. You but know, he shot I, the pilot. I, he shot the pilot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Just he shot saying. The pilot. I'm not calling yeah. you out, yeah. Justin. So, I'm just saying. So what? Tell everybody here. what you're doing now and why you're here now. Oh, I'm I'm actually in town uh, for NCIS. Congratulations, Hawaii. Hawaii. Yes, yes. Hawaii. This is exciting. I want to make sure I said it was NCIS. Yes. yes. You know, yes. people are gonna really think Hawaii is just the murder capital of the world because we have every. What? We, well, we have. Well, Magnum because PI, TV we have shows Hawaii Five O and, and everybody mm. dies. People, you don't understand. People will ask me in my DM sometimes, is there that much crime there? They're serious, you know, it's a TV They're show. They're like, mm. you're like, yes. <laughs> please, please don't come. Yeah. It's a TV show, <laughs> folks, and we need drama. Yeah. Yes. And what are you doing on NCI? I, I play a guy who's in prison. Uh, I seem to get cast uh, <laughs> uh, that a lot. Hello. I had, the, I had the whole orange outfit on. I look pretty badass. I had tattoos <laughs> and everything. Yeah. Oh, I got it. I can't wait to see this. Yeah, yeah. I, I was. I'm the uh, sort of the godfather of the local gang that pull all the strings from the inside. Is, is, uh, is, is Ron in the same 
This I, Ron, I had thought I had thought Ron Ewan was on the same episode, and that was one of the big reasons I, I, I you know, you was, aside from being able to be here in Hawaii. And then I showed up here; he's not even here. <laughs> like he came in later. In another cell. They can't put all the Asians in the same episode. He's in, in Hawaii. He, he's in the pilot. Them. Now I'm not, you know, there enough to be cast in the pilot. <laughs> I'm just, I'm in episode three, um, but Ron, you know, Ron's in the pilot. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, we know the pilot is. If that's what well, it's did all you, about. You, are you going to stay alive? You think it's going to be a reoccurring? What's going on? Can't say? Well, I didn't die. Okay. I'm still in prison, so <laughs> I think it's fair to say that I will remain in prison. All right, good. I'm serving 20 for life okay. or something. Because, yeah, you know, you might be able to No, what wonderful that's people. That's a Hawaii uh, thing, yeah. by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said it. Yeah. <laughs> What wonderful! I mean, you know the 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 people uh, there, and and you know, oddly enough, the DP on it was the DP on This Is Us, and an a special episode that they went to Vietnam. That's so oh weird. really? And this I when I saw him, I said, "You look familiar." And he said, "Yeah, you too." You know, because we worked in Vietnam together, and uh, I was like, "Oh wait, oh, they, okay. wait, they <laughs> shot that in Vietnam? They shot a special two episodes." I in thought Vietnam. they just shot like you know, Camarillo for Vietnam. This is Vietnam. Us is the drama drama one, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. So you did This Is Us too. I did, yeah, because when they when they came there, you know, the producers, one of the producers, and this is us, Steve Beers, was the producer in Twenty One Jump the Street. He's only person wow. in Twenty One Jump Street. Yeah. So when he came, he said, like, "Dustin, you know, you we gotta would love do for this you part." To. Yeah. Again, I'm like, I don't even care if it's one line. Of course, I'm gonna yeah. do it. Yeah. You know, it's Steve Beers. I mean, he yeah. was like, he was my bro on Twenty One Jump Street. He was like the producer that sort of shepherded us right. through, you know. Four years of, of 21 Jump Street. Do you keep in touch with uh, any other guys from 21 Jump Street? Uh, you know, once in a while I see Johnny at these, you know, international film festivals yeah. or we, I have a film there, he has a film there. Uh, Peter DeLuise. You know, everyone's got kids and, yeah. and their lives, but we talk a lot on the phone since that's I've been good. back in the States. That's awesome. Holly Robinson is my little oh, sister. Yeah, I love Holly like Robinson. Really? Yeah. She's I've a, always wanted to meet her. Yeah, she's she's my my sister from another mother. Yeah. You know, we you have to come back, all right? We, love we, to. We, we got to end this, but yeah. you guys also can check out the long version, extended version Yeah, we're going to get into Johnny Depp stuff, so go yeah. to YouTube. <laughs> you got a little bit, you got a gift for him? Oh, sorry. I got to do my job, White. Come on, Yeah, man. That's, so, that's why I'm here. 88 Tees is our new sponsor for the show we love you Lukey boop uh, so here's some shirts for and you congratulations on everything stuff. Dustin <laughs> We're, uh, you know, I just met you but I'm so proud of you I've always been thank a big you, fan I, thank you very much and she, uh, I always ask can you please introduce me to no him? I don't introduce yeah. anybody but uh, check out the extended version thank you guys for watching it's a Hawaii thing ahoy yeah. ho aloha Welcome back to the extended version of It's a Hawaii Thing. Dustin hanging out with us. Um, we're talking about 21 Jump Street. And, you know, you guys really made the ba the bandana cool for men. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> That's where you're going to go? And fashion? Uh, it's one of the things okay. I had to mention. No, fashion is a huge part of it. The hair that yeah, you guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. the way that you guys did and your the hair. Earrings. The, the earrings. The earrings. That started all the guys. In, really? I promise you. Okay. Um, because, you know, I used to hang around with like James Roche. All, they were in modeling at the time. They just started modeling at the time. You know, you know, these all the same guys. Yeah. Tony Silva. And, right. Go back and look at the fashion. Where did it come from? Oh, Jump Street. It came from Twenty One Jump okay. Street. A lot okay. of that. Man, I, I remember we, you know we, we get cast in the show. One of the first things usually is like you know costume you know fittings and one of the first thing we are all had to do go out and pierce our ears. Seriously, your <laughs> oh, you ears wasn't pierced yet. You couldn't do a fake one. Well, because at the time you heard it here. <laughs> at the time, you know, I mean, guys were in, not uh, doing at that. At least kind guys of thing. that I was hanging out right. with. Yeah, no one was. And uh, and I was like, oh, really? Uh, not only pierced, but like pierced both ears, right? right. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Huh? And even the whole leather thing, you guys like yeah, leather yeah, and yeah, yeah. It, I like, remember okay, it so, so it clearly. was Johnny Depp for a while, and then Greco, because Greco was here. Uh, yeah. But then Greco came in, and he became like the Johnny 2.0. Is that what happened? Yes, but they started it. Did well, you, Rich, you, Richard came on, and I believe he did like six or seven episodes. Oh, so he wasn't on Jump Street. He was on Jump Street for about five or six episodes. He wasn't a regular. He wasn't a regular. Yeah. It was intended for for Richard to be a regular, uh. and then they decided to spin Richard off in his own show. Yes. Oh. Because when Richard came on, before he even came on, I think all the girls in the, in the yeah. United yeah. States was Rico. like drooling over him. So, uh, so when he came on, 
you know, he has such a big following yeah. that Fox decided they actually are going to spin him up in That's his right. own show. I remember show. that. And what so, show did he go to? Booker. It's Booker. called Booker. Isn't, That's right. Wasn't Booker. Booker here? No. Booker no. Was in here. Wasn't it was in Vancouver. Rico here, though, at some point doing a show? No, you're thinking of uh, the other guy who did Jake and the Fat Man. Oh, okay. He was always kind of in that. St- he was 3.0. actors. I'm, I apologize. <laughs> but more, sti- I mixed more up. stylish. But uh, it's so interesting how that show. And then. And Marker. Then, no, no. Oh, Marker was the Marker other one. Marker was here. Well, you're saying all white people look the same? A little bit. Because <laughs> I can, because I live here. We're getting love canceled you, now. And Richard Grieco and the yeah. other guys. <laughs> um, but Grieco was here doing Marker. Was it him? Can we look? Can we fact check that? Can Siri. we look up? Yeah. So I, I haven't seen Grieco. Richard, you know, uh, for a long, 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 long time. Because like I said, he, he a lot of people think he was on Jump Street for a long time. But yeah. he only did, like I said, if I, to my yeah. best memory, maybe, you know, six or sepi- episodes or seven episodes. I was right. Something like that. What, what, what was it? He's on Marker and Marker was done here. I remember. Oh, it was. How many episodes? Or how many seasons did it? Uh, who cares? It's a, was it Steve Bochco? Was did it just one? It was just it one. It was one. The oh. director in the room knows all. But um, yeah, because he was here because he got into a lot of kerfuffles, if you will, Hawaii. Yes, he did. While he was here. Yeah. This Richard Grieco. I man. actually was an extra on that show a couple on times. Marker? On Marker? That's when I started doing oh. stuff. But then uh, Jake and the Fat Man. I, who did Jake and the Fat Man? That was Joe Penny. Joe Penny. That was mm. Joe Penny. Which doesn't look anything like Grieco. I'm no, not that racist. But you know, but. during that... <laughs> I was a bit concerned. That's why I brought it up. Check your eyesight. How was it? Uh, how was it working with Johnny? Terrific, man. Yeah. You know, Johnny. He. You know, we all know what he's gone through, and I only judge people by how they are with me. Yeah. You know, and way back then. And everyone should. <laughs> no, it's true. Yes. You know, don't believe what you read necessarily. Yeah. And, and, you know, and people have bad days sometimes. And, you know, sometimes, you know, we all do. You know, you yeah. wake up wrong and someone meets you and you might say something that's not so friendly. And next thing you know, you know, this person is, is a horrible person, yeah. you know. But Johnny, uh, besides his immense talent, you know, way back then, he, I always felt he was a real gentleman. Uh, he treats people, you know, crew people actors all the same That's a awesome lot of respect know. you know he's an odd bird yeah. you know in a good way he's and an he's an artist and, yeah uh, in a good way and and um sometimes he doesn't do things that people expect him to do tell it, tell us like something that we would be like wow we didn't know that he did whether it was right before you did a scene you know did he fart well you know what what Seriously? anything funny That's what we're well doing. okay all right. I, now, how censored is this show? No, oh, whatever you want. You whatever you want to say. Swear. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not going to swear. Racist. It's awful. Well, you know, it's your fault, and I you brought go, it up. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. You said fart. Right. <laughs> so this is what we used to do to amuse ourselves in in the in uh, between in the back of vehicle because you know when you're shooting inside a car, it's very boring. Yeah. In between takes, in between. So Peter DeLuise, myself, and Johnny. And the guy, uh, Stephen Williams, who plays our captain, he's a very serious guy. So he's sitting in the front, and he's always, you know, Straight laced in character. Yeah. So we, we, we figure a way to try to crack him up. So Peter, he's a big guy, so when he farts, <laughs> it's, it's a certain volume there. So we would light it. Oh, God. In the car? In the car. You know, he, he would basically get in a certain position <laughs> behind Stephen Williams. Wow. And, and then, you know... Do we have tape of this? And, I and, want to roll and, tape on And Johnny this. and I would get the match ready, and we would go, you ready, uh, Peter? <laughs> and then, Steven, Steven. And then Steven, you know, trying to focus for the for the next take, and he, and he turns around, <laughs> and we would light it, and Peter would let one out, and it was just like napalm, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. Wow. <laughs> and and I'm telling you, this guy is incredible, Stephen Williams. Didn't he, break. Didn't break. He looks at us, <laughs> he turns back, and, he, and he's just stays there right yeah. and we all were just like and of course you know i'm putting out the fire <laughs> because it's like singeing peter's uh, jeans <laughs> wow uh, i see? had no idea you made you say wow see I'm, Johnny. I'm surprised you're not asking about vip with John- pamela anderson because oh. she was on that for a oh, long time that's right how was pam uh incredible uh well i met her um doing baywatch me, I did with Brian. I, she wasn't on the Hawaii one, but f- she came for s- s- the c- something. I don't know what it was. When it moved to Hawaii, 
I guess she did some kind of sequence promotion yeah. or something. But anyway, she seemed super nice. Well, Pam, first of all, again, you know, when you're a public personality, people just tend to only see what what's what they see on the outside. But Pam doesn't get to where she is, you yeah. know, being dumb. Totally. You know, people, oh, your Pam is a bimbo yeah. and all of this. I mean, aside being beautiful, she's a very smart and, and very caring person. But when I work with her on VIP, she reminded me that she used to be an extra on 21 Jump Street because she's no, from Vancouver. Really? You know, what? We, we, shot, we shot the series on 20, uh, 21 Jump Street in Vancouver. Oh, that's right. And, and I remember, I said, that's right, Pam. You know, she said, oh, don't you remember that one time I was like an extra and, you know, I came up and talked to you about how to become an actress and should I move to L.A.? And, wow. And, and, and she go, now, you know, every time I do a scene with you in, in VIP, I get so nervous. And I'm like, why are you nervous? Because you know me when I was an extra, you know, Aww. you know me, I'm, you know me before I was Pamela Anderson, and it's just so so adorable, you know. I yeah. bet you though she remembered that kind of stuff and then put you in VIP because VIP was her vehicle. Yeah, I mean, she was the right. executive producer. She put producer that show together, and, like uh, she watched everything at Baywatch, yeah. took copious notes, and then went yeah. to the networks. It's like I'm going to do know my what? own show. I, I think those those were the best times for television because everyone sat around the TV to watch these shows. Mm. You know what I mean? There was no internet, streaming. There was you know, no streaming, so everybody sat it's like uh, my uh, grandfather used to say yo you guys like we'd watch cosby show or whatever and they go why does everybody come sit around the tv he would say this is like us sitting around the radio and when true. they all sit around the a radio tv right yeah so i think that was the last stretch of good television to me i mean vip had a great run you guys had a great it, it was run. a great run yeah. i had no idea you know i mean i i remember i i was a guest star towards the end of the first season and then they call me and said, "Oh, we would love for your character to, you know, to become Roll a regular." And, and I was like, "Oh man, I gotta ride a motorcycle." I yeah. was, they dress me up like a rock star. Yeah. I'm in, you know. I gotta working watch with this beautiful again. women yeah. too every yeah. day, you know. Writing was on point. Like all the girls on the show just had their lane. It yeah. was really a yeah. good it's just show. a silly show that knows it's silly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, didn't it didn't take itself yeah, seriously, yeah. and like people loved it. Did you get into the, or are you into the? Obviously now you're not, but were you into the whole Hollywood scene? Did you go to the party? I can answer that for you. Why? Besides no. Chris Lee, besides, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, besides Chris Lee's, wait I a minute, fly on that wall for many, many Brooke, occasions. Besides Chris Justin's Lee's house? barbecues, did you get into the Hollywood side of it? Well, which side of Hollywood? You know, going into the the red carpet parties. Well, of course. I mean, you know, look, look. But with Dustin, here's the thing with Dustin. I'm gonna speak for Dustin mm. because, like, I literally lived in his house. Like, he his connection with these people were real like pam would come over to the house mm. with then tommy tommy yeah. and they oh. would like literally you'd walk up the stairs of his house and tommy be in his office using the computer yeah you know what i'm saying like it wasn't like hollywood contrived parties where it was like everybody's doing blow or whatever and like whatever yeah these were just people that were hanging out they right. all were in the business but they had connections and were friends they yeah. weren't just doing it for face value kind of a thing so yeah. Yeah, yeah, that I, mean, I that, can vouch for that aspect life. of it for sure. You know, but I mean, I was never into like the wild stuff. You know, not that I'm like uh, you know a saint or anything, but I'm not into drugs. I'm not into all of yeah. that stuff. You know, and uh, um, so yeah, I mean that's part of the business, and uh, and it's fine. And 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 I think I'm lucky that I I I sort of have this very nice circle of Hollywood people yeah. that are that are nice people. You know. Yeah, you definitely do because I know some of them. Mm -hmm. uh, do you keep in touch with Pamela? No, I don't. No, yeah, I don't. Uh, we gotta find yeah. her. Yeah. What's she doing now? Do what you know? Mean find her. She's everywhere. I, I haven't. I haven't seen anything. I, I she's haven't, married uh, people, divorced people, like within right. five minutes. Yeah, yeah. Like, what? Give us the update. What? What? Right now? What is she doing? She's with a fighter person or something now, isn't she? I don't know. I mean, this is just what I read. Well, you know, again, I've been in Vietnam for ten years. Yeah. yeah. So I, I lost touch with a, with a lot of people. There's no uh, TMZ in Vietnam. No, no, not yet, <laughs> not yet. There's yeah. got to be a Vietnamese version of TMZ. How, how is the, how is they the, actually uh, that you're right. Yeah, they yeah. They how is the film world right now in Vietnam? Didn't the that Netflix show the oh, Ohano? Didn't they shoot in Vietnam? No. You're being racist. That no, was in no. Thailand. Thailand. Okay. Yeah. Vietnam Why is film. That racist? Same. Vietnam. Why is that racist? <laughs> Vietnam, Philippines, honey, you ought to say that That's mean what that racist. means. No, I didn't I'm say that. Saying. Okay. No, so Vietnam's film industry is very, very, very small. When I arrived there 10 years ago, there were, they were making nine movies a year. Okay. Seriously. In the country? In the country. The entire country of almost 100 million people. Wow. Is there, is there <laughs> with, with like 40 cinemas. That no, seriously. sounds like a wow. ripe-like environment to be and in. Then, That's and rich then targets is what that make, is. Yeah, you know, media business and movie making get privatized and now... You know, 
I think there's like 60 something movie feature films a year being made. Thanks oh, to nice. Dustin. And Thank you no, to no, Dustin. No, I'm just like a small part of it, but <laughs> you know, and from 40 rickety cinemas uh, to probably over 400 like world class cineplexes. Wow. Uh, multi screens, you know, cineplexes. So it's grown a lot, but again, compared to the rest of the world. Are there any small. other Ameri- Can you name any other American Viet- Vietnamese? that have gone back to do things? There are many American Vietnamese that go back there, uh, like me, because in Hollywood, nobody's going to let me direct. Ah. Right? Ooh. So, no, no, I mean, that's the truth. I mean, I, and I don't blame them. I mean, yeah. you know, I, I got a feature <laughs> film, and, you know, I want to direct. Well, but in Vietnam, we all have that opportunity, yeah. for, for better or for worse. And, uh, and we can make films, and we can get things done. Um, and, and for me, it's also reconnecting with my people. Yeah, yeah. And the culture. No, that's so and, great that you go in and you get, you're giving yeah. back to. to uh, are you doing working on any movies right now or any any other shows? Well, in I, Vietnam. In Vietnam. Yeah, yeah, no, because like I said, the last two years, you know, yeah. I've been in uh, with South Warrior Africa. in South Africa right, right. in Cape Town. Do you want to do anything? Any big movie? Uh, in Vietnam. And direct. Uh, I I do I do have one more in me. Yeah. In terms <laughs> of uh, what I mean is yeah you know because I I think I I feel like I've done it in Vietnam yeah. not in an arrogant way but. But I want to focus on more of my directing career in, in, in the U.S. now. I and love Vietnam. It's one yeah, but I do have movie. one more project in me that I'd like to he do. Did, he did in Vietnam what you're trying to get everybody to do here in Hawaii. The ones that go away and come yeah, back yeah. and do that. That's yeah, what I'm he really did in trying to get. We have so many talented people here in Hawaii. And we, everyone goes away, not just in the movie world, but sports. You know, every they go away because we don't have a pro team or whatever. Um, but when you work on that movie... And you need a drug dealer that looks Here Mexican. Here we go, Hawaii. I'd like to audition. Here we, we could do something with your eyes a little bit. Then yeah, you could a pass the Vietnamese. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I've been talking to Ron, but Special waiting for an effects. audition, you know. Uh-huh. But anyway, <laughs> I uh-huh. wish we have so much to talk to you about, but we got to wrap it up. I, I really appreciate you taking your time to join it's us. It's a pleasure, Thanks Lena. Yeah. Yeah. Pleasure, show, Brooke. Robbie. Thank you for it. No, really, thank you for it. And when you uh, come back, if you need help, you know, whatever, please let mm-hmm. us know. I know you know He Brooke, might be moving here. I'm really considering moving here. You could be his real estate agent. No, I'm going to be his new friend we're gonna go surfing or something okay right yeah I'll teach okay. you how to you surf so you here. don't hurt your neck you heard it here Hawaii <laughs> uh, Dustin Gwen you guys go check him out on YouTube Google him or on HBO he has a new show what's the show called again Warrior Warrior Pay Warrior. Warrior I didn't want to screw it up oh I wanted him God. to say it but thanks for interrupting him whatever yes uh, it's a Hawaii thing mahalo it's a Hawaii